Welcome to Love and Money Secrets TV. I'm Dame Lillianne Walker, and I teach business owners and professionals how to live video 10,000 attendees and up to 50 video participants. In today's training, I want to show you how you can create a YouTube thumbnail that is high resolution, crisp, clean, and clear so that your viewers who are watching your YouTube videos on their mobile devices, Androids, iPhones, etc., are able to legibly read what is on your thumbnail. It can make all the difference in the world as to whether your video is seen or not. So in a previous training, I showed you guys exactly how to create a video thumbnail using BeFunky.com, which is free. You see an image that you post here, you add the text, you save it, and then you upload it. Pretty easy peasy. However, if you look into my YouTube, my creator studio here, on my channel, you'll notice that the graphics are a little fuzzy and lower resolution than what I would like. So another quick and dirty way to do this, which is free, is by using your PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to open up a Power presentation, PowerPoint presentation that I already have set up. Um, the reason why I'm doing this and I'm going to this is one of the tips that I teach you when we dive in deep in my master class. That's an online video webinar. We show you a lot of tricks that will not only um, save you time and money, but collapses time frames and gives you shortcuts and gives you a high return for invested energy, time and effort. We're going to open a PowerPoint presentation. And the first thing you're going to do is I'm going to select the first slide. I already know that I like this text. So I don't have to pick the color. I don't have to pick the font style. You want to make sure that you keep consistent in all your YouTube videos for branding purposes. You want to use similar images of yourself and the same exact coloring and font for branding purposes. We're not going to get into the nitty gritty of that. Today is just how to create a YouTube video thumbnail that is high resolution. So step one. I'm going to pick the first slide and the next thing I'm going to do is go to insert. I'm going to hit new slide and then the drop down. I'm going to go to duplicate slide set. And as you can see, it duplicated this first one. So now this is what I'm going to. I'm going to edit this. I'm taking out this text box because I don't need it. And I'm going to eliminate this image. And we are going to focus on the text that I'm going to how I think we called that. That was a motivational Monday of the day. So this is the title of the thumbnail and of the video. So you're going to take this text box. And you, once it's got the little cross, you're going to bring it down and position it where you want it. I'm going to make it a little wider so that motivational is all on one line. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a picture. I have a picture of myself. These are the two pictures that typically I use for all my marketing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to drop this in here. Okay. Now I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm going to make it larger, remembering that, again, you've got mobile users that are going to be looking at this on their mobile devices. So you don't want a tiny picture. You want a, an image that takes up a good portion of this graphic. OK. Now you're going to take the text. You can see that it's behind my image. So what you're going to want to do is you have the text box outlined. So next you're going to take your cursor and go to where it says arrange you're going to click on that drop down you're going to you're going to have the the text you're going to take that object and bring it in front of this picture this image of myself so bring front now you see you have the image is all legible in front i'm going to next go into my text box i'm going to do control a because i want to make this text slightly smaller so I'm going to go here and instead of 96, just a tiny bit smaller and making it a 90, I hit enter. And now you can see that it is a little better size. I'm going to take this because I don't want it directly on my face. OK. 
Okay. And I'm going to position this just a little lower here. Okay. And we're, we're basically done. Next and final step is you're going to want to go to File, Save As, and these are very important steps. You're going to pick where you're going to save it. And we are going to delete uh, Motivational Monday quote of the day, DLW. I'm going to put REV for revised. And we're going to save that. OK. So now, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to save this. I can reduce this. Now I'm going to go to the video that I want to change the graphic for. In my Creator Studio, I'm going to click the link. I'm going to scroll down. Here's the old image. You see how it's low resolution? Next, I'm going to click Change Image. And this is alphabetical, so let me go to the M's. Motivational quote of the day, DLW, here we go. This is the one that I actually did, so let's go ahead and do that. And there you have it. Next, I save changes. And we are done. That's how you do a high resolution thumbnail for your YouTube thumbnail for your cover image. Thank you for joining us today. Be sure to like this video, share it, and subscribe to this video. Please do post it on Twitter and Facebook, Instagram, your social media feeds. I would love to hear back from you, feedback, your likes, your concerns, and be sure to circle back around. We have lots of free tutorials on how you can do all sorts of things to expand your business on YouTube and on the web so that you can use live video and you can become an expert in your industry. And who knows, in the short future, you may end up on network, radio, TV, newspaper, and magazine. Thank you for joining us today. Bye-bye.